Bella is probably 12 to 14 years old. Lost or abandoned, a border collie named Bella went from this to this, thanks to three people who went above and beyond to change her life. Oh, it's okay. It's going to be okay now. It is. We're going to fly from uh, Raymond, Mississippi this morning to Hammond, Louisiana. We're going to pick up a, I believe, 12-year-old border collie named Bella, and we're going to fly her to Coleman, Alabama. We'll be met there uh, by a foster parent, if you want to call it that, and uh, she's going to uh, give Bella some good care and then hopefully uh, place her with a forever family. I have uh, used my plane in the past to fly uh, some seriously ill people uh, to different places for treatment, but uh, I've never used it for a dog transport before. After a 45 minute flight to Hammond, this pilot, attorney Kelly Kyle, meets his passenger. You a little nervous? When I got her, she was frozen like every bone and much. She was so scared. Herding dogs are my first love. I've rescued a few Shelties. I've rescued a few Collies. I mean, I'm not adverse. I just stay so busy with the Border Collies and Aussies. In the state of Louisiana and in Mississippi, we do not have a Border Collie rescue or an Australian Shepherd rescue. So what I do is I find rescues that I've really checked out that have the ability to get dogs adopted, to get all of their vetting done, to get them rehabbed if they need that. There's so much in rescue somebody can do. I mean, you could, there's, there's a million things you can find to do. But uh, most of all, give locally, give locally. It's like trying to empty the ocean with a spoon though. Uh, the lack of knowledge that people have about what it takes to just be a good dog owner. I mean, a heartworm pill costs, what, $12 a month? Give them a heartworm pill. Nine days after taking Bella in, Elaine Kilgore says goodbye to another of the countless border collies she's helped rescue. You gonna give me a hug? Good girl. Good girl. I love you. I am over the moon for her because I know where she is going right now. Welcome aboard, Bella. Okay. Less than two hours later, Bella arrives in Alabama and meets Karen Robinson, and, 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 the Tennessee woman who will guide her recovery. For a first time flyer, she seemed okay with the whole process. Is this uh, this is the first time you've uh, you've transported an animal? Is it uh, is it the last time? No, no, not at all. I'm sure I'll be doing uh, a lot more of this. I uh, think it's something that I could. Do something to help out with. How was your first flight? Not too bad? Come on. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Oh, goodness. Oh, yeah. Your, your life is looking up. <laughs> Things are looking up for you, I promise. Border Collies are the smartest dogs in the world, and they really have some um, unusual traits. And if you haven't been dealing with them for a long time, then they can go right back into a home where they, they don't get handled well, and then they get rehomed again. Typically, my husband and I get real hard cases, the ones that are emaciated and shy, and we bring them in, so I'll bring her in. We foster one Border Collie or Aussie at a time and get her re rehabilitated and then start looking for the perfect forever home for her. This is where my heart is right here and so we we know how to get her to kind of bring herself out, put her with other border collies so she can be a border collie. They're fabulous dogs and um, I wish there weren't so many in shelters um, and lost and almost dying. We pull a lot that are getting ready to be euthanized and yet there are still so many breeders out there overpopulating and then giving border collies to a family that have no idea what they're getting have to provide a job whether it's agility or frisbee or a herding there are so many things they can do um, and they can do a lot more than herding even in, in a home environment still fighting to get healthy a month later bella owns the robinson's backyard yeah, and three people yeah. from different states couldn't be happier we get her healthy and she has two or three more years and a good life, then it's worth all the effort. For Newsocracy, I'm Jim Albritton reporting.